kind of warm. Is your face warm? No, no, actually, it's nice. Oh, you have a nice face. Thank you. I'll try. <laughs> and five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. And this is Shot 30 Podcast, and I am Shane Newbert. And sitting across from me today is the beautiful Sarah Hughes Calhoun. Oh, thank you. Did you officially change last name? So we actually made Hyphenate? a decision that on Facebook it's hyphenated, but I just decided not to change it legally. Oh, really? Because it just seems like a hassle. Like, you got to change your passport, social security, all this stuff. He didn't have to do that. So we just decided I'll just go by whatever he wants to call me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to call you the hyphenated version. All Sarah right. Hughes Calhoun. Yeah, for legal terms. It sounds classy. <laughs> it does. And Shout 30 Podcast is available on YouTube and all your favorite podcast apps, except for Spotify for some reason. They don't like us. <laughs> but um, yeah, Apple Podcast, CastBox, Stitcher, go ahead and give it a five star and a review if you like it. Thank you for being here. And okay, so we are going to dive into some Halloween stuff. We're going to dive into some Pokemon Go stuff. But the very first thing I want to say to you is... I've cussed your name a lot. <laughs> Why? Uh, now, you would have no idea <laughs> how mad you've made me so many times. Do you remember the last time you made me mad? This is going to be baffling for you. Maybe. I'm trying to think back. I, I don't know what it could be, actually. You are a bit of a person. Uh, okay, what what's the term I'm looking for? You're a person who likes to recommend movies on Facebook. Oh, what did I re- Oh, Cats. Yeah, so <laughs> you recommended Cats, and I watched it, and I was, I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. And so then I, I but I see, I you did this movie list at one point, like, check all the movies that you've seen. Oh, yeah. And so then <laughs> you recommended another movie, and me and Timmy decided we were going to try it out. And I watched this movie. And I could not believe it. I did not tell Timory that this was you who recommended it because yeah. I didn't want your name run through the dirt in our house. Okay. <laughs> but it was, I'm thinking about ending things. Ooh. And you loved it. That movie sucked. <laughs> I like how you wouldn't throw me under the bus with your wife, but you will with all your viewers. Oh, yeah. Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, well, we're in like 14 countries right now. So 14 right. countries knows that. You recommended this movie. I recommend trash movies. What? what you, why did you like that movie? Uh, I don't know. And I don't know if I would say if I loved it. I'll have to go back and look at that status. It just really made me think. And I like movies that do that. Uh, because, one, I was I was expecting just like this cheesy thriller of a girl. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I was expecting, Trust me, don't go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like some girlfriend going off into the countryside and like meeting this creepy family, kind of maybe, like, Get Out-esque. You're isolated, they're crazy, what's going to happen? And that wasn't it. It was a very, like, for me, thought-provoking piece on some other stuff. So I twisted it. I kind of thought that it might have gotten... I feel like it, this could get good. Now, if I... The, the, okay, so this is, like, where they bust out and dance... Oh yeah, that was weird. That w- that was like the weirdest. Yeah, and then but there was symbolism behind it, at least from what I remember. So it's the ballet people that are beautiful versions of themselves. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. So, but then his real life constantly destroys the fantasy. So that's where that janitor runs in and they have that death battle and I think the janitor wins or something. Oh, yeah. So Battle of true r- warriors out there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think the real one, his actual self just walks by and like sweeps up. I'm like, that was just such a sad thing about like a life thing. So Yeah, I and I can understand symbolism and stuff, but yeah, yeah I just really hated that movie. And I think I put a warning on it too, like this is not what you're gonna think it's gonna be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I I remember a little bit of it. But you started it out with, Oh, I recommend this movie or something like that. Uh oh. I need to tailor my recommendations a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, you, you totally do. <laughs> so, okay, now your mask kinda looks like a a normal mask, but it looks like a thong on the side. <laughs> I have heard that, yep. So I bought this online from a friend oh no. My friend's relative was selling them when this all started. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, how cute. It's black. It'll go with everything. I'll get two for me and Matt. 
And they came with this frilly stuff. Oh, dude. And Matt's like, I'm not wearing that. It looks like you're wearing underwear on your face. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. And now you've brought it up again. Yeah, it totally does. So it's just my classy underwear mask. So mm. so, yep. so, so your husband doesn't wear it? He, not this one. He bought different ones. Oh, okay. But his aunt was also very, very nice and made us some, too. Um, but the ones she made for him, um, which normally he would like, probably it has skulls on it. I'm like, uh, probably not the best one to wear during a pandemic. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So we bought some generic ones and have that one still, though. Oh, that's funny. I Now, I mean, you could have definitely worn a mask while you were, I saw that you were mudding or dirt. Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could have had a mask on for that because, yeah, you were covered. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so funny. I didn't realize until we started taking pictures or until I took my helmet off. And then all the guys there were like, whoa. I'm like, it can't be that bad. And I looked and I'm like, okay, it's that bad. It was pretty, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then I just want, I have one other thing that popped up about your Facebook page in my, in my, uh, dull memory here. <laughs> um, now did you get infested with like, uh, I, th- I think it was you like uh pumpkin. You went to grow pumpkins and like took over. Yes. Yeah. So it was last year. Cause every year what I do is after Halloween, I just take our pumpkins, throw them in the backyard and pile them up and then they decompose. Yeah. And yeah. just see what happens. Cause my mom always had that luck where she'd throw them out. She'd get a pumpkin patch. That was the first year I got them. Cause I think it was, you know, we got a lot of rain. Then it got really hot, a lot of rain, really hot. So all of the like hundreds of pumpkin seeds, a lot of them took root and sprouted. Uh-huh. So I called it ground zero because that you saw the pictures. It took over. So my it was like deck. Wuhan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's a terrible COVID joke. Sorry. It's okay. Sign of the times. Yeah. Now you'll go back and listen to this 10 years from now and be like, man. Yeah, that pumpkin. Yeah, there's going to be pumpkin seeds or pumpkin vines all over the world because of you. Yeah, because of me. No, yeah. we did the same thing. We piled them up behind our garage. And the next year, oh, my God, we were like, we were out there fighting like the plant from the uh, little shop of horrors. We were yes. out there like hacking it. It attached to everything. It was it went wild. We had we had one pumpkin that was like this big. Nice. Yeah, it was it was a it was a girthy boy, but um, yeah. So I mean, with Halloween and everything now, and a pandemic, what do you think about? like trick-or-treating and everything there's a lot of controversy on it and whatnot for sure what i think is people are taking the steps to like be safe about it Mm -hmm. you know like if i had a kid right now i try and think it'd be really hard to have one right now um but we would probably go to families that we knew yeah like we probably wouldn't go to a bunch of strangers houses probably would avoid prospect street sorry um (laughs) But just avoid just avoid mass gatherings. You can still have fun and be safe. Yeah, and you know, I think that if I could give any advice to people that are having their kids go out and trick-or-treat right now, it would be, you know what, imagine the fact that a lot or um, not imagine, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, pre-decide that a lot of people aren't going to be having giving out candy and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, and so the people that are... If you have kids that you know, pack them a big bag of candy. You know, yeah. just pack them up extra. So then when they get home, it's like every other year they got a big bag still. It's not like anything was different. You know, yeah. it's a couple extra dollars to give. I mean, you can buy like 80 dum-dums for like uh, 50 cents. Yeah, and for little kids, they don't care if it's a dum-dum or one of those grand old big Hershey bars. They mm-hmm. just get candy and it's fun. Well, it sucks for me because normally we, I... Why Timory takes the kids out trick or treating? Mm-hmm. I sit on the front porch and I do adult trick or treating on one side oh, and pass nice. out beers, and then on the other side we did we always did the full candy bars uh-huh. because the kids like it was like the first year we did it and all the kids loved it. They're like, we got to go to the house. They got the full <laughs> candy bars, and then the parents were like, no, we need to go to the house because they got the Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. That's awesome. And then another place in town actually was making margaritas for people. Wow. Walking. Yeah. That, that, you know, that's a one, they're a one upper, but I'll take it because I always pit stop. Right. Yeah. I, I put a on hold for a minute <laughs> on my candy bin. Yeah. No, we made a mistake one year. I said, hey, just grab whatever you guys want. I'm just going to chill here and drink all the beers. Yeah. And dude, the candy was gone within 30 minutes. Yeah. I didn't care. <laughs> but 
Yeah, Matherville actually has this huge parade. Wow. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kids. And they all walk around the town and then they trick or treat. It's really cool. That's super cool. Yeah. Like, I had never heard of this town or been anywhere near it. Now, driving up to it, I'm like, this is actually a cute little town. I'll, I'll blow your mind. When you go to leave, yeah. you'll go see the lake, and it will blow your mind. Okay. Yeah. It's just a couple minutes away. Okay, it will, I'll do that. And that's where they light the fireworks over the water. It's pretty cool. This is a fancy town. Yeah, and the pokey stops in this town. Yeah, tell me about that. So, let me tell you how scummy I am. <laughs> now, it... Hey, be advised, we're going to talk about Pokemon Go. And if you don't like it, I don't care. I like Pokemon Go. Um, so Timory just hit level 40. Nice. Yeah, she's she was real disappointed that there wasn't, like, fireworks on the... On the I'm <laughs> assuming you're 40. I'm actually not. What? I'm at, like, I think 37, 38. I'm close. Whoa, weak I sauce. I know. I'm going to give a shout out to Aaron Pratt. He's out there still trucking away in Kiwani. Yeah. Yeah, he's still playing. And then uh, Riley Clark, he's out there still playing. Yep. I'm about 1 million away from level 40. Okay. Yeah, my shiny collection's off the charts, though. Oh, that's awesome. I'm jealous. Some people have a lot of trouble getting shinies. I am one of those people that it's like I click all day trying to, like, I'll just click on them to see if they are shiny, mm -hmm. and I, like, never get them. It's a rare event that I get them, um, so it makes it more special to me. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, because I, well, I remember when the game first started, I'd see you just walking around everywhere. It was y you and, um... Um, Michelle Matusik. Yep, dude, that girl was nonstop. Nonstop. That, that girl. Okay, that girl was probably level forty in the first four months of the game. I like, can believe that. Yeah, she and she's like that with a lot of games too. I've noticed. I follow her, and she's like, I want to beat this game like right now. Yeah, that drive. Mm -hmm. And okay, so do you still? You, so you still play? I uh, do. Just yep, I still play. Um, but I think what gets me is around now when it starts to get kind of cold, mm -hmm. um, I recede. So now that's happened, you know, this has been out for four years. So every year right about now I drop off uh -huh. Then I come back on around Christmas time cause they have the events or the Halloween event. Um, but now I have some more friends in town that they still like to play. So I feel like it's going to get me through this slump. What, what I was mind blown about is because me and Timmy were like, we need something. We need a game to play or something. And so we started, we started back up. I had played for a long time and then we started back up. We went to a community day at Vanderveer Park. Oh. And my mind, it like exploded because yeah. there was thousands of people there thousands and i was like man i don't look like such a geek right now because there's <laughs> thousands of people here right. there was old men old women f kids five and six years old it was everything yeah like last year i vacationed in portland oregon because i went to visit roger craddock do you remember who he is yeah 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 um so he's really big into it too his whole family um so i went to visit him for the summer well couple weeks and same thing just thousands of people in his little suburb of portland and just like you would meet people again just raids took like 20 seconds because uh -huh. there were so many oh, people yeah. in there oh and it was just like that community feeling uh -huh, on community day uh -huh. so it was great it's awesome yeah we have five accounts nice so we have five accounts and i'm going to tell you I, the scummy thing that i was going to say is i bought a 40 I bought a 40 online oh. so I could request stuff in town. Oh. So after we bought that, now we have five gyms in a matter of two blocks. Nice. And then we have like seven spins. Nice. So it, 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 it's, it's pretty good. And I know all the boys in Kiwani, Riley and Aaron and my buddy Joe, mm -hmm. they all really appreciate it because we do all the raids. There and I invite with that new invite. Oh, yeah. That's so awesome. Game changer. Oh, you're not, so right. Yeah, because especially you know how it is being, well, now that you've got your gym set up, but being in a rural community, um, there's not as many players. So, mm -hmm. and even if there are, um, then they're at work. So, mm -hmm. like, you can't just be, like, at noon, like, hey, there's a um, Mewtwo raid. Let's all go get it. Well, I'm at work right now. It's like, ah, uh, mm -hmm. quit your job. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, it really felt like it at the beginning of Pokemon. Like, it was more important than life. But yeah, Pokemon Go, like, everybody was rushing to have every... Like, yes. I remember when I caught 
I felt like a celebrity. I caught a Blastoise at the beginning of the game outside of my house nice. at 2 a.m. And, dude, everybody was like, did you hear what he did? Did you hear what he did? I think I remember that, actually. It, it was spread like, like wildfire. And it was so funny when the game started, man. We were like we were like uh, piranhas to a, like a piece of meat. Yeah. And they're like, hey, there's a, there's a Kingler uh, at the... <laughs> At the Shell station. I'm like, get in the damn car. Remember I told you that one time? Yes. I was like, get in the damn car. Yeah. I can't. It was, uh, it was a Nitto King. It yes. was a Nitto King up by Family Video. Yeah. And we said, get in the damn car. And we're speeding there. Right. And I talked about that the other day because I mentioned how I was going to be on this podcast with you. I'm like... Yeah, I just randomly got in his car one day. I mean, like, I knew you. Mm. But I'm like, thank goodness he didn't, like, kidnap me or anything. <laughs> yeah, now you're in my basement. <laughs> I know, I have flashbacks. Been, I'm like, oh, no. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> 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 that is so funny. And that- then I remember somebody was cruel. People would do this all the time. I don't even remember this. But they would try and cause a stampede because they did it at Winmont once. Oh, yeah. They're like, there's a Dragonite in the corner. And we all just ran for it. D- Nothing was there uh-huh and we <laughs> always look so stupid it's uh, um i can tell you okay so now even it, it, for all those people out there that are have made it this far and still judging like <laughs> i appreciate you guys being here um but one day i got out of work at, i was working at the prison then yeah and a bunch of us all played like i'm like maybe 12 of us mm-hmm. and there was a dragonite That's there awesome. was a dragonite outside the prison but by the wall like in this park right beside so we literally just pull out of the parking lot and then we all start sprinting a bunch of correctional officers right outside of a prison oh my sprinting gosh. in their uniforms to go catch a dragonite that's amazing yeah but by the time i got there it was gone they uh, all got they all got it it was real Ooh. yeah tough tough go for me that's rough i remember this was a couple years ago now i was working in peoria heights mm-hmm. um and my office was a gym so I would sit there like on breaks and like take it over, fight it, get it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then during my lunch break, I would change into running shoes and I would just run the loop, get all the stops, uh, yeah. get all the raids. And then like where this office was, it was like a plaza. So people like my boss would look out the window at me during lunch, just like running or like <laughs> standing with like a whole bunch of like burly dudes on her phones. Uh, She's like, what are you doing out there? I'm like, it's Pokemon Go. It's so funny that we have to like defend it. Like, I, I like the game. You know, <laughs> I, I got into an argument with a guy that I worked with at one point. He goes, he, he goes, that's for little kids. Really? I was like, oh, blow. You know, I'm like, shut up, dude. Come yeah. on. Um, and hey, dude, he was like, I fix cars. I fix cars. That's what I do for fun. Yeah, you do little kid stuff. I was like, okay, whatever makes you feel better, man. Right. Yeah. And, and now, and now it's like, the coolest thing is, okay, so all these remote raids and stuff, and having a gym right outside the house, I'm gonna spin all day. Um, it's like, COVID has created me my laziest version of me. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I I don't go to the movie theater anymore because I get all the brand new movies on my TV. Right. <laughs> and then um. And then with Pokemon, I don't have to get out and do anything. I can just do it from home. Right. Yeah. I'm turning into a, a, a Lazo, but eh. It's okay. Yeah. What I keep telling everybody, and I hope your viewers take this to heart, we are collectively going through a generational, a generation-defining moment. Mm-hmm. So uh, whatever you need to do to get through it, as long as it doesn't hurt you or others, do it. Yeah, well, I'll, I can tell you that even with all that, last night... There's a net in here. I just keep trying to get him. He's been in here for like the past five episodes. Just one. Ooh. And we can't get him. <laughs> um, but uh, so, oh, well, I don't even know what the hell I was going to say. But uh, Donald Trump yesterday came down with uh, COVID. He did. And then I was watching the Cubs game. And who I'm, I have Hulu Live. We cut mm-hmm. cable. We have Hulu, Amazon, Netflix, all that and Disney Plus. Nice. Yeah. Um, but the Cubs game stopped, and it went into breaking news that he got flown to... The, the Walter Reed yeah. hospital. Yeah. And he had a really high temp, super nauseous, having troubles breathing. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just went, wow, I thought this thing was fake. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, that's a twist, wasn't it? It was. I hope what comes from it um, is that he... 
goes through it, realizes it's serious. Like other, some people, it doesn't affect them that bad. But if it does, well then, you know, that's terrible. We don't want anyone to have a bad time with an illness. So I hope he goes through it, understands the seriousness, and a little more empathetic. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's all we can really hope for. I hope. But... You know what? You know what I think is funny is how I sat here and I bad mouthed your underwear mask. Yeah. And you have not said a word about mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a nice person and I love it. It's fabulous. I have another one that's like pink cloth with like little spikes all over. Like wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. I wore that in. And Did you buy it at Hot Topic? I bought it at the Lions Den. Okay, that makes also sense. I, yeah, I definitely bought it at the Lions Den. <laughs> I bought this one there as well. Fa Wow, do they have a whole line there? They, they do have a whole section in the right when you walk in. And it, for all those listeners in other countries and stuff that don't know what the Lion's Den is, it's an adult. It's an adult. Um, um, Entertainment store? <laughs> a merchandise store? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think there's, it's a trucker's paradise. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, we walked in. I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so we just started grabbing up all this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, wow! You get you get a mask for your face, and then all the clothes here—they're missing all the parts. <laughs> yeah. oh, right, they're just been cutting them apart, putting a mask. Yeah, this is probably someone's boob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably the easiest thing to convert. So yeah. just strap it to your face. Oh, that's funny. So, um, now you were did you if I remember correctly. Did you were like doing some marathons and stuff? I was. So I never did a marathon. That's on my bucket list. But I did a ton of 5Ks um, right around when Pokemon Go came out. Um, that's when I was like really, really fit, really, really active. Yeah, you were killing it. You were really killing it. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into that actually. I'm doing a bunch of challenges this month to kind of kick it off. Mm -hmm. um, but I used to be able to do in my lunch break at Peoria Heights three miles every day in 30 minutes oh because the first half of my lunch break i would like drink water have a little snack to get through the day and then just go run uh-huh so but now like where i well now i'm working from home so now i really have no excuse i can just go out and do it mm -hmm. so you know and that's got to be a real struggle for you because you have short legs so you have to take like because <laughs> you are short yeah how tall are you i'm five one and a half oh okay half we'll, count we'll give you the half with shoes on um <laughs> But, uh, so you have to take twice as many steps. So t uh, if you're like running against like, let's say Usain Bolt, where oh, yeah. his stride is two times longer than yours. Yeah. I mean, you have to think that you're practically running a five minute mile. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not math savvy, but I'll take that. Well, if you run, if you run three miles in 30 minutes, oh, yeah. so that's 10 minutes per mile. Yep. And then if you were him and, and had his stride, yeah. you cut that in half to a five minute mile. That's very impressive. See, look how amazing I could have been if I were just like a few feet taller. Yeah. Or even a couple. I know, that, a few feet. A few feet, nine feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> damn, damn, I'll just dunk the basketball with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> gosh oh my gosh uh have you watched any are you a sports person at all um i used to be more into sports because when i would drive an hour um regular radio drove me nuts so i'd listen to the espn channel mm -hmm. and that was all during deflate gate so i was oh. like really i knew all about yeah. it i'd come to college and just talk about it in class I'm like did you hear this <laughs> yeah there was 12 psi in that football <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be 13.2 <laughs> yeah and then and I was watching when the Cubs won the World Series because I started listening to it on my way home from school, drove to what used to be the boiler room mm -hmm. and finished watching it there with friends and family. So I was there listening to it. It was great. Yeah. I, well, I, th I had, so you have, you watched any of the sports with empty, uh, the empty crowds? I haven't, but I've seen pictures of like how I saw one where they have like the office character cutouts. Oh in yeah, the front. I um, loved that. Yeah, I um, I'm actually a big fan. Do you need another drink? Or you? I'm gonna get one now because I just realized I haven't been drinking it. Oh, oh wow, Jeez. I know. Shot thirty podcast. Shot shot one podcast. Shot chatty podcast. <laughs> talking so much. Um. Okay. So. I personally, the empty stadiums and the NBA, NFL, the NFL is a weird one for me because I don't really like it, but I don't really notice it. You never see anything but the field. Right. But you know you know that the players feel it. Yeah. 
But baseball and basketball, I'm not a huge basketball fan, but I watch. Mm-hmm. Um, but you hear their shoes squeak. You hear when they hit the ground. You hear their body thump. Ooh. When it's a UFC fight, you hear their, the, the the connection. You hear the smack. You hear the pain. You hear the grunts. Wow. And so in baseball, instantly I can be I can be sitting there with my eyes closed, and I go, "That's a home run." If I hear the smack of the ball, if it's right, yeah, yeah, and I think it's awesome. It's kind of like, it's kind of like I'm actually live at the game when you know there's no one there. That's true because I'm I'm here first, just like everybody else is, and I hear the same thing that everyone would have heard at the stadium. Yeah, it's because it's quiet. I'll have to watch one because. I, especially like a UFC fight, that's oh. probably got to be gnarly. Oh, it's crazy! Wow. Yeah, I, it, oh, yeah. There's a fight. I'll when we get done, I'll message Riley. He had me watch this one fight. It was like one of the first ones. Yeah. I, I don't remember the fighters' names. Um, but it was just this guy just took a pounding, Ooh. and it's just over and over again. And you just hear like slobber in his mouth. You, like it is, it's good, and you can just hear. Like, oh when he gets hit in the gosh. stomach, wow. the stuff that you don't realize ever happens. You think these guys right. are bionic out there just, you know, just th- throwing punches. But, man, it hurt to watch. Ooh. Yeah. But I sat there on my end of the couch and ate my pizza, <laughs> my pizza hut. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watched two grown men beat each other. <laughs> Isn't it a weird world? It is. It's such a weird world. It's a weird world where doctors who save people's lives make $200,000 a year. And a guy who is a third string wide receiver on a football team who isn't even going to go on the field makes a minimum of $650,000 a year. Right. Yeah, it's so weird. So this is kind of off topic, but I've always like one of the, like things I wanted to get into is boxing uh-huh. or MMA fighting, something like that. So I think about like what would be the song that I would run out to? What would be yours? My song would be I want to dance with somebody. That's wonderful. That'd probably be it. Yeah. You know, when I power lifted, um, Every time I was on stage, it was either Taylor Swift or Miley Cyrus. I love that. Uh huh. Even at Rome, even at Raw Unity, which was one of the biggest meets, um, powerlifting meets in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. I had Taylor Swift and Miley Cyrus, and everybody went like, "What is going on? <laughs> Pink shoes on." I had my hair dyed blonde then. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I was such a goober. I love it. So what would yours be? Um, I always go back and forth. I feel like it would just be a recurring playlist. Too, okay. Because I just I'm so indecisive. Because your your stride's so short that you're gonna have to play multiple songs. There you go. There <laughs> yeah. you go. I've thought about X Gun. Give it to you because it's just a Ooh. song that's like you're gonna get beat up. Oh. When yeah. that song comes on, you're gonna get beat up. And then I always like envision like I'm running out. I'm all cool. And then like Matt's in the audience holding like a billboard like Go Sarah. Uh uh-huh. And he's like Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> do you think Do you think he would hop in the ring if you're getting beat up and he'd beat the other person up i think he would really think about it because there have been times he's such a nice sweet guy but people like if they're being mean to others just sets him off oh yeah he's like oh sarah almost walked over there just decked him i'm like don't do that Uh uh-huh and he never has but you can just tell it just really upsets him when he sees people like getting getting hurt being mean to all that yeah and i mean it sucks it sucks to say but it's especially with internet warriors you know, you wouldn't believe the amount of times I get messages that I should have been aborted. Uh, just go kill myself. When I talked about, like, I went through a hard depression and stuff, and people yeah. were like, well, that's unfortunate you're still here. I mean, yeah. oh, they go to town. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, you just learn to ignore them, and that's the easiest way to go about it. You know, you'll get some love. And, it, you know, that's the thing, too. Is like, you get some love, and it, like, kind of, like, d- it's overshadowed by negative stuff, you know? Right. But you just find your your sight for it, and you just do whatever you do. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, like, with Matt, when he's, like, getting like, it'll be fine, whatever, they don't matter, it's fine. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, just to preface, he's not a violent person, he doesn't hit people. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, okay, so now you're, like, real, okay, you're a Pokemon expert, um, you're, well, are you related to Professor Oak? Did I hear that? So, maybe. Because, I'll tell you what, my family came over from Ireland and had to, like, hollow out an oak tree as kind of, like, 
base camp while they built their mansion. So trees are within the family line. Okay. <laughs> <They're all right. laughs> so I could be related to Professor Oak somehow. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> I, um, now, with, uh, okay, with your marathon and your MMA, is do you have, um, like, thinking about all these ideas, do you have mm-hmm. a game plan? So for marathoning, and I don't know if I'll ever do a full marathon, maybe a half, because bad knees run in the family. I, well, I, when if somebody says running to the fridge, like or hey, like <laughs> if I was to run two blocks to the gas station, yeah, that's a marathon. Okay, okay, so it's all relative. yeah, one k, two k, seven k, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the only k that's different is NBA two k. Yeah, that's the only one that's different to me. Yeah. So the game plan is, you know, I've been doing couch to five k. Because it's like getting into that mindset of like I'm not where I was, where it's like a 30 minute 5K. Can so you start can from you the beginning? Can you ex- can you explain what that is? I've heard that a lot, but yeah. So it's an app. I think you can get a premium version. I just do the free. Um, and it's really just getting you from not running sedentary to the point where you can run a 5K again. Mm-hmm. So it eases you in. So like it does like think eight rounds where it's like two minutes of walking a minute of running and you just do intervals and then every day it gradually increases are they all the same like training period times like they want you to do 30 minutes every day or is it just however fast to get the first one done i think it's very regimented where i think like the first one is like 30 minutes and i think it just keeps you on a certain time amount okay all right, yeah, so now you started that. What day are you into that? So I'm on day five. Day five. And <laughs> It's the breaking point. The breaking point. Yeah. And then also last night, because I'm doing full body stuff, because you can, running is great cardio, but you also need to, like, do muscles, weight training, all that. Mm-hmm. Um, right now I'm not really going to the gym, but what I'm doing is working on, um, like I did, I'm doing a push-up challenge, crunch challenge and a 30 day stretching challenge too so the crunch is it's 10,000 challenge in a month or 10,000 crunches in a month 10,000 challenges in one month <laughs> i like that that, is, that should be like a documentary <laughs> like, yeah 10,000 challenges we'll in a month. start with the one ship challenge then we'll go to do you want to try do you want to try uh the world's hottest gumball or like a carolina reaper or something uh sure oh 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 no those are peppers wait are you do you want to try uh the bomb beyond insanity what is it so one of the world's hottest hot sauces i don't want to cry in your pot how about we do it towards the end i like that so then i won't be crying here i can't believe how daring some people are like i've had maybe five out of the last 10 guests have just just the lightest little dab and, and tried it yeah it, it blows my mind how daring some people are because i've you know even even though i've done these challenges mm-hmm. i mean i know like how bad it can be yeah but the one that hit me the worst was the new version of the packy okay i was i was near i was near death Ooh. Yeah, and if you guys haven't ever seen that video, go to Shot Thirty Podcast on YouTube and just type in "One Show Challenge" and you'll watch me almost die. I was outside; my my throat had swollen up so big. I like when I ate the Carolina Reaper Ugh, from yeah. the world's hottest farm. I was fu- I was okay. Yeah, I mean I was hot, right? But when I ate that chip, oh, sh- it was shutting down. Oh man. Yeah, Timmy thought I was my eyes. I couldn't see. Yeah, they were like. When you see the before and after picture, you'll know. Okay. Yeah, you'll know how bad it was. Now, I wonder, do people actually, like, you know how I go and just get, like, some salsa and eat some chips? Like, are there anyone that actually eats stuff that hot? There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. That when you taste what one little, I mean, one, um, okay, so, like, if I was to take a teaspoon. Yeah. Would be enough to make a whole pot of chili boil. Wow. hot. Okay. Yeah. And then there's this other one. There's this other one that we have in the fridge because we we went out and bought them all. Yeah. Um, it's called a uh, Mad Dog 357. Okay. And whew, that thing is just like sizzles. Uh, the second you put it on your tongue, it's like, yeah. Am I just trying to put like a tongue ring in or something? Like just put a, a pre hole through there? Oh gosh. Yeah, it's bad. Now, are you a hot? You're a hot sauce person, a hot food person. Um, kind of like. I like, like, spicy curries, spicy soups. I'm a fan. 
Um, haven't had anything that literally makes me want to, like, fall over and die. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, that'll be this. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah we'll wait till the end. <laughs> <of that one. laughs> yeah. Um, but I do... Holy shit. I can't believe we're 36 minutes in. That's wild. Yeah, oh, let me drop this in real quick. Uh, Shot 30 Podcast is sponsored by Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies. Visit Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies on Facebook and Instagram today and get your decorative delights, cupcakes, cookies, uh, cakes. And put your orders in now for Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all those things. Get them now because those, those bookings fill up quick. Visit Mrs. Newbie's Cakes and Cookies on Facebook and Instagram today. Also, visit Conspiracy Kimonos on Facebook and Instagram today. C- C- Conspiracy Kimonos, get your custom-made gi for jujitsu. And he's got a gi right behind you. You might need a gi one here soon when you start whooping the shit out of people. I ask to come give it to you style. You visit Conspiracy Kimonos on Facebook and Instagram today. Okay, sorry. No, you're fine. Forgot about those. Oh, and Handmade by Haley in Kiwani. Visit Handmade by Haley for your decorative signs. She's making all kinds of stuff coming up uh, for Halloween. Put your orders in now because she's, I mean, she books up quick. So, Handmade by Haley, visit, visit her Facebook page. I know she has some other pages, but her Facebook, like, uh, what is it? Like the job page or whatever is her main source of what she uses. Visit mm-hmm. Handmade by Haley out of Kiwani today. Boom. Man, I do. Speaking of Haley, I need to go um, load up for Halloween stuff because, mm-hmm. like, I've got some signs from her, but I know you mentioned, like, one on your earlier podcast, her Hocus Pocus signs. Oh, my God. They're so awesome. So good. I want one so bad. Yeah, we've got one. We're just, we were going to put it up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, ah, she's so good. And she's been doing, like, different styles, too, and I like a lot of her new stuff. She's got... I know she just did a giveaway or something. She's out in the mountains somewhere. Did you see that? I think I did. And I was yeah. like, oh, good for her. Yeah, she's out in the mountains just chilling away. You know, her... She, when she was on the podcast... Um, whew, I didn't, I wasn't ready. I didn't ever thought I was going to cry on a podcast, but... Oh, wow. And I've known Haley my whole life, you right. know, but, like, when... She's ta- I'm I'm not talking to her as more of a friend. I'm talking to her more on like a podcast, I guess. Mm-hmm. We're l- letting her explain, and then I just sit here and listen. And oh, I was just. Now is that one out, or do you still have to upload that one? No, that one was out. She did that one almost a year ago. So oh. yeah, it was really good. We did it for Epilepsy Awareness Month. Nice. Yeah, it was it was good. Yeah, and did you see what she said about... I never knew this, um, so it was news to me. So Haley can be out there, you know. (laughs) But I didn't know that you're supposed to paint your pumpkins purple for epilepsy awareness. I didn't know that was... Yeah. I didn't know that was a huge thing. I knew it was mostly because Haley does such a good job of, like, um, using her Facebook to spread awareness. Because I like to think I'm a knowledgeable person, but she always puts stuff out there from her perspective and knowledge. I'm like, Mm -hmm. oh, wow, I didn't even think about that. Because I think now they're trying to do purple pumpkins for, like, oh, come trick-or-treat here. This is, yeah. But it's really supposed to be for epilepsy awareness. So Mm -hmm. I'm like, go Haley. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. From her page alone, I have learned so much Mm -hmm. about something that I thought I knew quite a bit about because when she was going through her stuff in high school and, you know, we learned to be able to take care or see signs or some something like that we yeah. learn way more than most people do mm-hmm. but it, it makes you question like if if anybody with epilepsy is walking through a store how do you handle a seizure how do you handle a shutdown you know what are the right things to do and it's just things that aren't taught to us you no. know hey we're gonna do we're gonna teach cpr but the, it's just as common i mean Someone choking as someone having epilepsy. One in every ten people have epilepsy. Right. Yeah, not one in every ten people choke to death. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I know. I wish we just could have more education on that in in high school because not everyone goes to college. You mm-hmm. know, so make sure we understand at least the basics when we leave high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I mean, there's, there's, I think there's a lot of blank holes that we miss in, in. High school, junior high. There's so many things that could be so valuable that we just miss. Like, we're I mean, we're taking sewing and foods, and those are great. Yeah. Um, but where are the classes that explain to someone? Or how about when everybody's in driver's ed, every single person changes a tire? That would be great. Because I for sure can say, like, if I were to have, like, popped a tire on the way here... I'd have to call somebody. 
Like, and, I don't have the tools. I'm not equipped to do it. So it's like, I wish I, I need to, that should be a bucket list item. That yeah, I do. Honestly, probably you have the tools. Yeah. It's most of the time they're in the car hidden. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, um, and so it's a, but we also do have this odd gift that's been given to us in technology and, and having a phone that goes, Hey, what do I do if, um, uh, my tire falls off and blah, blah, blah. How do right. I change my tire or anything like that? You can, you can pretty much look up how to do anything, but it's now, it's so easy to do that, that it's like, oh, I don't need to remember how to do this or, right. you know, the day all, all technology shuts down, what's going to happen then? I think about that and it won't, won't be that great. But that's why I watch um, survival shows. I want to take survival <laughs> classes. <laughs> you should, are you building a bunker in your backyard? No, we don't have the kind of money for that. But more so, like, I want to be able to make a fire. Because uh-huh. do you watch Naked and Afraid? I don't watch Naked and Afraid. I, I just watch shows where people are naked sometimes. That, okay. So you're halfway there. <laughs> you just need the... <laughs> I just need the survival skills. <laughs> right. And if you want to get weird looks on an airplane, watch Naked and afraid when someone's sitting next to you on your little screen. That's awesome. Yeah, it's real funny. They blur everything. Is is but... that is there an unblurred version of it? Like they should, why don't they like do what everybody else is like? Hey, on our Patreon or our fan <laughs> only fans, that's we're gonna release the actual naked version. Man, they'd make so much money. They probably would. I think there's a uncut version, but I don't know if that's like non blurred. I don't know. Oh man! It has to be out there somewhere because blur. They don't just put blurs on people. Like you have to edit that. Uh huh. So or maybe they're not naked. Conspiracy. Whoa! <laughs> we cracked the code here. Now there's gonna be a SWAT team that comes takes us away. Oh yeah! They figured it out. <laughs> Damn! They're gonna make my ass be on an episode. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not naked, huh? <laughs> like, where's my stuff? <laughs> but it's cool because some people they like. They're so, it, they have the skills where they, like, weave bikini tops out of grass and, yeah. like, all this cool stuff. There's a lot of talented people. There's a, there's a lot of talented people. You know, what I always say is we have something that we made when the pandemic, you know, when it started, it kind of scared me. Yeah. Like, in a lot of ways. So, we made bug out bags. Mm-hmm. We made, you know, with everything. Just everything we could think of if... Yeah, you know, shit was really to get real crazy. Yeah, it started to... And this has been, like, a... I hope a humbling experience for all of us. Mm Because, like, that's a real thing, going to the grocery store and there not being anything. Oh, For, like, prolonged periods of time for, like, other countries. So now that it's... it's, That happened here Mm -hmm. um, quite a few times where you'd go and there's just nothing there for for a specific thing. Not that the store was cleared out. Uh But it's just, like, man... Maybe I need to grow a garden. Yeah, it, well, we, it was it, it was like, you know, Oreos were gone, but like the off brand were still there. But we're like, you know, I don't eat Oreos. I don't <laughs> eat the real shit. <laughs> it, it, yeah. But it, it was crazy because I mean, there was at one point, uh, Hy-Vee and Walmart had no meat. Yeah. And in the in the cities, there was no meat. Yeah. And that that was a weird thing. It, it's not. It was never a case, oh, we're going to starve. This is the worst case scenario. But there was no meat. Right. There was no toilet paper for months. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I will say, I was, I was, the, when I heard, now, so this is where I'm, I'm kind of in that gray area. When mm-hmm. I heard that uh, China and it was China then, what, th- then the next country after that that shut everything down was it France or something like that? Um, or Italy? Italy for sure, because they got hit really bad. Um, and I know a lot of the other European countries started closing down. Mm-hmm. And I and I told Timur, I went, it's gonna sh- we're going to shut down. We're going to get it. Mm-hmm. I was like, there's no way. And then I was like, I'm going to go to the store just because I'm kind of bugging. And I came home with... Uh, 10 packages of toilet paper. I came home with four or five bags of dog food. Oh, yeah. I came home with uh, 10, 20 cases of water. Mm-hmm. Um, and then about three weeks later, they're like, kill the hoarders, kill the hoarders. Ah. I was like, I don't have any Germex, though. Like, I didn't take that. 
<laughs> Come on, guys. I didn't take everything. Oh, my God. Uh, but that's what, like, yeah, so we had stocked up like crazy. But the cool thing was, while everybody was going to the store scared and all these things. Yeah. Man, we had everything we need. Uh, right, you had your, your, your bugged out palace. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I was like, <laughs> all right, paper. we're going to ration out the corn, guys. We're each people, each person gets five pieces of corn. <laughs> well, and, gosh, and, and when I wasn't, like, I we had enough already because, like, we try and go grocery shopping weekly. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember because uh, my mom um, and, like, a couple other people I know are kind of in that high-risk area or, like, um, are healthcare workers. So they, they can't get it. They got to be really careful. So I went and got toilet paper for a couple people like, uh-huh. when I was just out. And the looks I got and the shame I felt. I'm like, it's not all for me. Mm -hmm. Because this was, like, far into it where, like, the the panic buying had kind of stopped. And then they see me, like, walking out with, like, three jumbo things of toilet paper. I'm like, not me. Don't. I'm I'm just being a good helper. Yeah, you don't need to explain yourself unless it says there is a limit on how much you can buy. Right. Okay, what the scummy thing is, Mm -hmm. the people who were buying mass amounts of stuff and then selling it. Yeah. Like, hey, I'm going to sell this roll of toilet paper. You know, like they were selling like the Germex. That one guy was selling it for like $12, $13 a bottle when he bought it for two. Yeah. And he had bought like 4,000 of them. He thought he was making a life investment. And yeah, and then they shut him down for uh, what uh, money gouging? Price, is the... price gouging. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that was a bad move on his behalf. Now he's got yeah. a lot. He's got a shit ton of Germax. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. Of all the things to like have an overabundance of too, because like certain things, it's like you're gonna use it, uh-huh. uh, but four thousand things in Germex, like <laughs> yeah, you're never gonna get to the end of that. No. Yeah, it's like when they say you win like a lifetime supply of like chicken nuggets. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> or uh, or you can just take like ten thousand chicken nuggets and <laughs> you put them in your freezer. <laughs> When am I going to eat 10,000 chicken nuggets? Right. <laughs> and why would you ever want to? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. You know, if I, if, I, if I could win, like, a deal where I got something every year, how about, like, 10 grand every every year? How about, a, nice. how, about a, how about a stimulus check every every year? I'll take that. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll move to Canada. Yeah. Do, do they do that? No, but I think they... I'll have to go back and look. But I think they're giving at least monthly assistance. Or at least some regularity of assistance, from what I, I kind of remember. And we we've got the one, and maybe we'll get a second one, maybe. I I'll be real in. Yeah, that that it's a real coin toss on that second stimulus mm-hmm. check. But I I mean I'd be real in. I'd be all the way in. I I could use some new equipment in here. I could use some. Uh, I could restock up my COVID stock. There you go. <laughs> and then um and then put a little bit away. Yeah, and then all that can, all the rest can go to PokeCoins. Yeah, absolutely. I <laughs> how much money have you spent on PokeCoins? Would you say? Ooh, uh, not I don't know. Um, not a ton. Like I'm trying to think of how many. Maybe like a hundred. Because like I just do little bits when I need it, and it's been four years, you know. So maybe sometimes I put twenty. Other times, five dollars. So if you put twenty and five dollars over four years, you think you put a hundred dollars total. I know for a fact if I was to take the hard amount of money that me and Timmy combined oh, have yeah. put in, I would say we're probably close to a thousand bucks. Wow. Yeah. And maybe that might be more realistic and I just don't want to say it. I think I think it's a hard <laughs> pill to swallow. It might be. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, because I try not to, but sometimes it's like you need those right passes. Yeah. And you or have the to, incubators. And you have to think that's a game that you can play for hours. Keep yourself yeah. preoccupied for hours. Now... If you go to the bar 10 times in four years, you've spent that same exact amount pretty much. Yeah, pretty you, much. Yeah, and it, that's what we say all the time. Like when we, if we do a community day or whatever, that's six hours of a day Yeah. of where we're having fun, we're out doing whatever. You know, sometimes we're like, and in town here, we'll, you know, just bust, crack open a drink and just walk around and like have fun. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah there's... There's no harm in Pokemon going. Anybody who thinks there is could suck it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, because you're outside, you're in the sun, you're with your friends, or you're meeting other people. Like, I'm trying to think back. Uh, I don't think I've made... Well, 
I don't know. Like, I don't think I've befriended strangers, per se. Uh-huh. But I've had, like, friendly conversations with them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just been that nice community feeling. Yeah, and Taylor, like, I think Taylor Swift plays Pokemon Go. I love that. And some, yeah, some other, some other celebrity. Maybe Zac Efron. Mm-hmm. Something like that, but... Well, I think we're at that pivotal moment where you try this hot sauce if you want. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, and then I just, if if you would, we'll crack it open. You'll just take a little tiny, 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 like almost like not even a dab. Like okay. Just, and here, I'll let you do it. Okay. And then um, and then just tell everybody what you're feeling. Not very much. This, I mean, when I'm talking like the lightest of touches. Like that? I would wipe off just a little bit of. Oh wow! Okay. Now, just if 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 you don't make okay, like, yeah, like that, that? that yeah 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 okay. Now if um we need to find something for you to wipe that other finger off. Do not touch your eyes. Okay. Do not touch your eyes. Good tip. Okay. Wow! Almost immediate. Uh Yeah, you're gonna. It's like I swallowed a ton of pepper. Yeah. Okay, it's fading now. No, it's not. A little bit. Well, at first I was it feeling fades, in the back of my it, throat. It fades and then it. And then the burn starts. It, it may be light enough that you don't get it, and that would be awesome. But you're gonna start I'm to feel like that. A lot. Yeah, that pulse. Your eyes are starting to water up. Eh, it's back in the throat. Ah, uh, that's what happens. Oh, nope. I'm trying to drink through my mask. It's incredible, isn't it? It's incredible that that little, little, little piece can do that much damage. Thank goodness I didn't have the rest. Oh my god. Ugh. Are you okay? I'm dying. Oh, no. well, I'm not dying, but the tears are coming now. Okay. Oh, fogging up my glasses, too. Yeah. I mean, the one thing I always say to people is, if you've tried it, no one will understand what you're talking about till you, you try stuff like this. You're right. It's when, these weird waves. Yeah, we played this game, me and my buddy Joe, who's done all these challenges with me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can breathe. We played this game called Hot Spins. <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, we, like, it was like spin the bottle with hot sauce and cupcakes. So, on... The four corners, there was hot sauce on top, like four of the world's hottest hot sauces on top of the cupcakes. Yeah. And then oh, on no. four, and then four corners was just clean cupcakes. Oh. I got the lowest heat of hot sauce and then two cupcakes. We each had three spins. Mm-hmm. And he got, he got the three other hot sauces. Mm. And that boy was wicked. Yeah. And so on top of his cupcake, it yeah. was a miniature cupcake, was about a tablespoon of that. Oh my god! Yeah, it was bad. What happened to? I don't, is this online? That I can. Watch oh it? yeah, they're okay. all on there. We're gonna. We're we we're just talking about making the page on like YouTube and stuff more like categorized by. Hey, here's our spicy foods and the challenges and when we eat scorpions and all that weird <laughs> shit that we've done. Are you okay? I am. <laughs> you were fogging up. I good. was. It just continued to fog up. Yeah, you're probably, I mean, you're about a minute away before it'll start to... Go away. Yeah, the problem is you're breathing in your own heat right now, so you're just passing that heat back through your mask. If you want to pull that down for a minute, it'll definitely It's making you. my face feel warm, and that's kind of pleasant. Oh, okay. So... Yeah. Well, they say that hot sauces are incredible for uh, weight loss. Hey, yeah, because the capsation or something. Yeah, right? something about when it heats up, it makes your meta- oh. not metabolism, blood move quicker. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know if that's true, but I've I've always pretended like it's true. Yeah. And this just doesn't look pleasant. And the smell, this did you smell it? I didn't smell it. Just give it a smell. Okay. I mean, it's just absolutely putrid. Oh, okay, yeah, I did. It kind of smells like beef jerky. <laughs> Damn, give me some. Can I have another drink? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love these straws, by the way. I'm a big fan. That didn't sound too good. <laughs> no. I'm like, please don't rip the straw that I just complimented. Uh, yeah. Um, now, do you play any other games other than Pokemon? Do you play... Uh, I know a lot of people are on that like farm game. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing, you play that? I Not as much as I used to because I finally got this villager I really wanted to leave out. So it was like kind of that crowning achievement of, yes, they're gone. Uh-huh. Um, but I did play that a lot, especially when the lockdown first started. Is that a lot like Harvest Moon? Kind of. Okay. Um, But like your character, you're, you customize your character, you move on to this deserted island, and then you... Um, craft things, build up your house, find animal villagers on other islands and bring them back. So is it like a Sims type deal? 
Now, is there other, like, on people, people are online, right? Yeah. So it's really fun. I'm surprised you don't have it, actually. Well, I went to get it. Mm-hmm. And then during that period of time was, there was so much going on with the podcast and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I was letting the kids play on the Switch a lot. Oh. So I kind of made the sacrifice there, but I'll probably still get it. I can't believe I don't have it. That is crazy, because when I buy games, I have... You know, I impulse and I just go like, right. So yeah, we've have we have the two PlayStation fours. Nice one. So if I want to be playing, the kids want to be playing. That's cool. We have the Wii. We got the Switch. We've got yeah. We just I don't know. Yeah, cause no, we pl- I play Animal Crossing and you'll like it because it is online. So you have your island, but you can visit your friends' islands. So uh-huh. you can see all the cool stuff they've done. They can come help you with yours since you're starting out. So, like, especially, like, once you get it, not if, when, when uh-huh. you get it, let me know and we can be Switch friends and then I'll come over to your island and bring you stuff. Awesome. Because that's the one of the scummy things that I did, actually, for that game. Because <laughs> it's meant for the long haul kind of um, a game. Um, so, your money to expand your house, like, you really got to grind to get. I did buy uh, five million in-game monies. <laughs> On Amazon from somebody. Decent. It was like a shady deal where, like, you buy it on Amazon, you set up the drop time, <laughs> they come to your island, leave all the stuff, and then leave. Oh, you're that's so dirty. But, I can't believe you do such a thing. <laughs> you bought an account. Now I know. But, I was joking. I know. And that was the only time I did it because it was like, I needed, like, $3 million to finally fully upgrade my house. So I was like, yeah, I really want this now. Because I was working throughout the pandemic, and a lot of my other friends, they were, like, off of school, oh, off of work. Oh, so they were getting way ahead of you. Yeah. And it was fuming you. were getting angry. Ooh. And you were playing x and give it to you. And you just, <laughs> you'd just take a little dab of the bomb beyond insanity, and you were heating up. And, yes, yeah, so you just had to I do did, it. I had to do it. Yeah. Not oh. my proudest moment, but now my house is really cute. Well, hopefully none of the people who you play with see this thing oh they know i told them <laughs> okay <laughs> i was very honest i'm like yeah i did it <laughs> uh, i uh oh what the hell oh yeah remember the game clash of clans i oh my youtubers that i always follow always used to bring it up but i never played it oh man i put in so much money this is when i started at the prison and had no idea that you know, like, oh, I can just spend money now. And so, Great. <laughs> or like, in a few years, I'm going to have real bills that come up. But now I'm just making a shit ton of money and don't know what to do with it. So I was putting, I put in thousands of dollars into Clash of Clans. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, it was bad. That's why I had to force myself to stop. But yeah. it was, like, the same thing. You go to your buddy's, like, place and you can see how it looks. Mm-hmm. And I always decorated, like, I always built my fence and my houses to be in the shape of a boy part. Uh, yeah (laughs) so um that was like my claim to fame like i had gold walls of balls (laughs) (laughs) yeah so i remember yeah that was those are the good old times when money didn't really matter right that's always real fun then it sets in you're like dang oh well okay time to be a grown-up yep it happens quick yeah, but other games that we play, because Matt plays games too, more often than me, because now I, I work a lot, um, and I like my work, um, but, like, I play Sims occasionally on my Xbox One, um, we've got a, I've got a PS4, my Switch, I sometimes play PC games occasionally, um, got Pokemon Go, obviously, uh-huh. that's one I can just do anywhere, especially when I was traveling for mm-hmm. work. Oh, yeah. I just hunker down in the airport, get all the Pokestops, get all the Pokemon in Texas, you know? Mm-hmm. Great. Did, now, um, have you seen this uh, documentary on Netflix about video, like, games throughout the years? Not yet. I'm, I saw the trailer, and I want to watch it. You will love it. Okay. And it, it makes you very... Uh, nostalgic i guess is the the term i'm looking for i when i watched it i felt so many things because when i grew up i did not have very much we didn't have very much money yeah so i would have an atari when everybody had a nintendo Mm -hmm. i would have a nintendo when everybody had a playstation one yeah and you know just watching the way these people thought and how they made the games it is it it's like one of those you want a bit it's like uh the, the tiger king 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, you want to just, you want to get it all out of the way now. For real. Okay. I'll watch it today. Yeah. Oh, you'll, you'll love it. Okay. I think, I think it may total, I think, five episodes of an hour. Something oh, yeah, like that. It's perfect. It's really good. Perfect. Yeah. Really good. And then it gives, like, um, it goes into individual, pl- like, players that were really good. Like, mm-hmm. some of the guys who became famous just because they were good at Sega or Tetris. Yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. And then you know, then people who thought that they were would, you know, make would be it. Big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's one guy's story that, uh, I it, it doesn't ruin anything for you, but this guy who made, he was told to make an ET game. Oh man, yeah. And he said, "You have five months before Christmas to get this game out." And he goes, "Everybody else said that they can't do it." And he goes, "I can do it." Ooh. And this guy made the biggest bust of a game in the history in world history. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. Because I remember... Did you ever watch Angry Video Game Nerd? Uh, no. So, Matt does. He really likes him. Um, he did a documentary about finding those, like, extra E.T. cartridges. Because uh-huh. I guess they couldn't sell them all. And they, there was a theory they buried them in a desert somewhere. <laughs> and I can't remember. I had to go back and watch that. Because I can't remember if they actually found them in a desert or not. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I th- yeah. Well, does he do Twitch or anything? Uh, Matt? Yeah. Or no, he doesn't. He's thought about it, um, because he really likes playing like Resident Evil games. But you you like game gaming too, and so does he. And you, mm-hmm. I mean, wouldn't that be an awesome Twitch channel of you guys playing together or two separate split screens? That I might think be, that'd be fun. A, I think that'd be cool and really great for you guys too. Especially, so it's really funny. I love scary movies, love horror films, mm-hmm. but I can't play scary games. Because I think it's because I can't make the decision to turn the corner. I'm like, why would I go? There's a ghost. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have to have him play them with me or for me. So I think if we were to do oh, a channel. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, yeah. You'd just see me screaming and jumping and him being like, are you fine? <laughs> Dude, my, my, buddy, <laughs> my buddy Joe gets so mad at me when we play Warzone because yeah. I'll be sitting there like, all right, he's dead. He died in the gulag or whatever, but we're like in the final like eight people. Yeah. And I'll be like trucking around. I'm like, dude, I know there's somebody. And then if they go to shoot me, dude, or they surprise me, I always drop my controller. I get scared in real life. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, damn it, Shane, what are you doing? And he'll just scream at me. I'm like, dude, I dropped my controller. I got so scared. And he just starts laughing because he knows every single time I like, <laughs> like, no. Right. <laughs> and drop the controller. It comes unplugged. Oh, man. Have you ever tried a horror game in VR? Ah, uh, I've, I, well, we, when we got our tax return last year, it was, we're getting Oculus Rift. Yeah. Because I've just seen Joom, 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 you know, Saber, the Saber game. Yeah. And I wanted it so bad. I didn't realize you had to have a PC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not like, I just thought it was a VR system you put on and play. Right, there it goes. Yeah. But no, I've never. What, you have it on the PlayStation? Um, So we have Resident Evil 7, I think that's the one, on VR. It's the one where they're like down in New Orleans. Um, That one, I tried to play it. But literally, I made it through, like, the little... I don't know if I made it through the prologue. I, like, got into the house, Uh knew what was going to happen, because I've seen it played without VR. So I'm like, they're going to get me! And I just freeze up in this awful-looking, scary kitchen. Um, okay, my brain... Okay, Resident... (sighs) The Resident Evil game, that one is... There's been a lot of them, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I think I know exactly which game you're talking about. Um... I don't play a lot of, like, one-player mode. Mm-hmm. Like, I like online stuff. Yeah. And so that's what I've always done. But I did... My brain always does this. Like, I go so scatterbrained. And when I was thinking about what you said uh, about loving horror mo- movies yep. and, and scary movies. Now, there's one movie I'm thinking of, and I hope you can name it. I think it's, like, La Lorena or something like... Um, La Llorona. No, no, that wasn't it. Okay, that one. That's that's the right name of the, one of them. Yeah. But there was an hereditary. Okay. Oh yeah. So I think that I'm gonna give you my opinion, and then I want to hear yours. You've sure. seen this, right? I have. I thought that they had set that up to be possibly the greatest horror film of all time, and the last ten minutes they destroyed the movie. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay, so you want my input? Uh Uh-huh. So I always hesitate to call something the greatest horror film of all time because it's so subjective. Uh Uh-huh. And it depends on which horror you like. Uh Uh-huh. But for one... I like that opinion. I like that. Yeah. For Hereditary... You don't need to have me come on and talk about horror films because I'm all about that. We can do... Hey, we'll we'll do another episode Halloween time. Yes. Normally, we decorate everything up in here. Oh, I'll come with a costume. Oh, yeah. Um, So with Hereditary... It's one of those like slow burn unsettling ones for a long time. And I love how they did the trailers for it. Because it, I came in there thinking I knew what it was going to be about, everything about it because the trailer. Mm-hmm. But they flipped the switch, when, spoilers, when they killed that kid. Oh my God, when her head comes off. It was just so shocking. It, it was almost like, it was it, one of the most graphic, like unset, like just... Shocking. Yeah, just shocking. Yeah. And you and it, it one of the best things about movies like that is that it lingers. Uh-huh. Cuz it doesn't give you that immediate release. You're sitting there like, "Oh my gosh." So that movie had a lot of that of just unsettling, did that just happen? And then like you said, the last 10 minutes just shit goes wild and you're like, "She's flying <laughs> and everybody's yeah. like naked huddled up in a room." <laughs> yeah, you're like, "Ah." And then I could honestly, could you imagine like waking up from a nap? Um, you're already going through a hard time, the the teenage boy, and then you just see like a naked dude in your house, yeah. and then your mom starts climbing around the walls like Spider Man. Yeah, I just man, they it was it was so close. They almost nailed it, dude. They almost nailed that as being one of the best ever in my brain. What is the scariest movie you've ever seen? Let's see. I'm trying to think. I watch so many now. I need to get a better list. But one of the ones that, I'm trying to think, there was one that really unsettled me and I can't remember. I do, I do love the Candyman's. I'm very, Those are good. I'm very excited for the new one. So the one I, I now remember, the one that has caused me the most like trauma, which uh-huh. might not even be like the scariest one, but to me it was the first Grudge movie. Because it came out, I think, when I was about in junior high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just even to this day when people like do that uh, and like the twitching thing, freaks me out. Freaks me uh-huh. out all to, all to get out. Because it's the the thought of that movie is that once you know about the grudge, you're dead. Uh-huh. Nothing you can do will save you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, same thing. That's the same concept as Candyman, too. Yeah. Once you say it, dude, you're done. For real. You, you catch, catch me outside. How about that? Right. <laughs> and I'm, I hate myself because I'm forgetting the guy's name, but I that actor's so iconic. Like, the oh. Candyman. Oh, man. Uh, uh, I And he's in the new one. Yes, he yeah, is. They got, and the woman, too. Yeah. Um. Here, this is what, why, why this comes into good play here. Uh, Candyman actor. All right, Tony Todd. That's it. Tony Todd, and the, 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 I know he played in other movies, but that's all he is. Yeah, and just his voice. This like he's an enigma, but he's just like there's that spelt voice. You're like, I am the voice in your head. Yeah, and you're like, wow, I'm scared, but the equally writing. like intrigued. The writing on the walls. Yeah. Oh, so good. That's why I just love Halloween. Like, I even came up with this line on the way here. I'm like, Halloween's one of the only times... Well, not only times, but it's so culturally acceptable to talk about spooky and creepy things. Uh Uh-huh. Because normally it's like, if I bring up to certain people, like, oh, I love scary movies. I love Halloween. They're like, oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, but, I mean, I love weird shit. Just look around in here. I know. Yeah, it's all weird. <laughs> it's all weird. I mean, it's all weird. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we had to take that Ron Jeremy picture off the wall because he's in prison now. Oh, yeah. So I can't promote him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> but, uh, no, I love, I love scary movies. I love it when they're done right. I'm not a big, like, I'm not a big, the torture movies. Yeah. I am i don't really love the saws and stuff like that. Yeah. But we did see one not so long ago, but I can't remember its name. It was about this man and this woman. This guy has this woman in this room, mm-hmm. but she's lost her memory. Okay. And he, like, keeps, like, going to dinner with her. In her oh. room, in her cell. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think I've heard it's of just, it and wanted to watch it. Yeah, that one was that one was pretty good. But I mean, we I, we watch so many movies at this point now, and so many movies late at night that yeah. it just kind of erases in my brain. You know? Yeah, start, same thing. But 
I think, well, we need to get wrapping up here. I mean, we cooked through an hour and 10 minutes. Wild. And I want to say thank you so much for coming here. This is great. We will do. I want, I'm want. i 100% serious. We will do just only about horror movies, scary movies. And then, I mean, we'll just come into here with a list. Yes. And that we'll do it that way. Ooh, I'm excited. This is Shot 30 Podcast. I am Shade Newbert. That's Sarah Hughes Calhoun. <laughs> a little hyphen. We're going to put a hyphen there. Yeah, we'll a little, put a hyphen. Yeah. And this is Shot 30 Podcast available on YouTube, uh, CastBox, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, all those things. Give us a five star, like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends. Sarah will be back. I will. Thank you.